To all you Boomblox players who thought the Boomblox videos were done, they're not. To everyone else wondering what Boomblox is, it's an awesome physics puzzle game for the Wii. Actually, probably about half of my subscribers came from my Boomblox videos and custom levels. So a while back I made a sort of machinima called Epic Fail 3, it was part 3 of the series. If you haven't seen it, you can click anywhere on the video screen to watch it. Here I'll explain five of the more complex scenes of the video. The whole video is like a big Rube Goldberg machine with a story involved, kind of like what I want to do with Modern Warfare 2. So, here we have the opening scene. You've probably wondered where those flying pandas come from. What you didn't see in the video was this whole block that I just shot. So I shot it once so that one more explosion would destroy it. So the gorilla heads for the babies. And when he sets off the explosion, it destroys the whole block. So when it's destroyed, the other whole block in the back loses its immobile property and it'll fall. Right now I pause it so I can explain. This is the launcher, which you didn't see in the video. Here are the pandas and the other blocks. So when the second whole block falls, the chemical blocks explode and the pandas are freed. And the pain begins. And here's the scene when the gorilla goes around that loop. So here's the gorilla falling out of the sky up here. And this is my attempt to make a little springboard to give him some spin. And most of these scenes revolve around hole blocks. So there are eight hole blocks in total in this level. So there are four holding the big cylinder in place. And here are three that I destroy myself. And the last one is next to the chemical block right here. So this ball rolling towards a chemical block is, it's, it's a chemical ball. And you can't see it in the video. The camera's somewhere about here. So these will explode eventually and destroy the last whole block. These four locks will then fall out of place and the conveyor belts will launch the huge block. So here I'll pause. Now it's destroyed, these fall out of place, launching this block. Here's the underwater section, just after he gets attacked by the giant squid, and here's how I make him tumble. He gets that little edge. So more hole blocks here. When these two are destroyed, this giant one back here starts to fall and this ball ramp opens up. This ball is the next timing device. It'll destroy this blue block here, which will open this blue ball ramp and it will start the fireworks. So the gorilla gets launched into this box and this last chemical ball is going to set off these fireworks. And he's still moving, but he won't be moving for long. So here we are at the last scene of the video. It's the best part, in my opinion. So I use a cannon tool so you can't mess with the level. I put the cannon somewhere way up in the sky where you can't use it. You can't move the camera either, so no matter what angle you try to get, you can't see anything strange going on. It just looks like a giant cheese grater. So guess what happens? Yep, the gorilla gets turned into little bite-sized jello cubes. So how does it work? If you download the level and open it in edit mode, you can see exactly what's going on. I'm just going to go extreme slow motion. And here's full speed. Also, you might be wondering what these balls are for and why they're invisible when you play the level. Well, that's another great use for whole blocks. If you group select more than one ball, you can paint it. So here's a mobile. You see they, they're immobile. It doesn't look any different, but it does behave like whatever you painted it with. And whole blocks right here. For some weird reason, when you paint them as whole blocks, they are invisible when you play the game. And they're still immobile, just like normal whole blocks. So for this level, I just use them to keep the black frame in place. I do have a couple more videos on the way, including a brand new, never before seen boom blocks level. See you later.